it, it's critical to establish key principles. So we've chatted about that briefly, but uh, the the five areas that um, I outlined in my opening testimony, uh, I just like to highlight each principle um, you know that I think is key, and and see if you agree uh, with each of these being as part of the process. Uh, consolidating the, the footprint of, of federal real estate. Do you think that's one of the key Absolutely. principles? Absolutely. House more federal employees and, and less overall space? Yes. Reduce our reliance on costly lease space? Yes, agree. Sell or, develop or, or redevelop high value assets that are underutilized or too valuable uh, for housing federal employees? Agree. And dispose of surplus property much quicker than we've done in the past? Agree. Those are very good principles. And do you have others that you would include in this? Uh, I think an important one, I, I think you hit uh, most of them. Um, I think we, we really are uh, looking at energy uh, efficiency. And I think that's embedded in what you're saying, but I, I think it might be worth emphasizing um, that in particular the real estate transformations that we're looking to achieve have multiple benefits, not only housing more people in one location, but a benefit of that as implied is, is energy efficiency, which results in both in positive environmental outcomes and operating cost outcomes. I don't know, Martha, if you have anything. No, I think that's a, that's a, uh, a very important um, aspect of this and a growing one and one that has a high value to it. And energy efficiency, you're including the tenant improvements that would need to be made to any of our buildings and yeah. and, and use that as part of a criteria of long-term planning. It's either going to be so expensive to renovate a 50- or 100-year piece of property or 100-year-old piece of property or better to, to sell off. That, that's correct. And I, I would just add one more, which I include embedded into those five principles as well as, as a justification process, really understanding what we're doing for the taxpayers um, justifying each building based on similar principles that we have in the real estate market. Yes, I would, I would um, include transparency in that so everyone can understand as much of this as possible. Right. Thank you. Yeah, oftentimes we make things way too difficult. Thank you.